Hi, this is Yogesh Agarwal and in this video, I'm going to give a complete walkthrough and training on our brand new product with Tsunami. So let me log in. So once you log in, you will see this screen. This is our dashboard. Here you can see all the campaigns that are created, their status and the final video links here. And you can edit the campaigns by clicking on edit button. You can delete them by clicking delete, copy and download. So let's start by creating a campaign. So to create a campaign, just go to the top right corner of the screen. Click on create campaign. So here enter the campaign name. I'll just enter as test campaign. And now you need to uh, select the mode by which you want to create a campaign. Like you want to create from scratch or you can also enter a URL and our system will scrape all the data from that URL and use the content from that URL to create videos. So for the test and demo, we will be using create from scratch so I will enter some text here now uh, once I am done giving the text you can uh, check the character count here as well so now you need to click on next once you do that, you will see the screen again. Now you need to uh, like check whether the campaign is created or not. As I can see under the campaigns, test campaign is created here. So now what you need to do is to click on edit button. Here you can select a template that is the base of the video. So I'll be selecting this one and I'll be clicking on continue to next step. So this is our full fledged editor. As you remember, we have entered three lines. So you will get three slides here. Okay, so here you will get slides and uh, this is the live preview of that particular slide. And uh, this is basically our entire editor. So let me go each and every features like one by one. So to add a new slide, we have several ways. The most easiest way is to click on add new slide. You see here as I clicked here, I got a new slide and to delete a slide, all you need to do is to set this value to zero. So basically this is the duration of the slide. You can increase or decrease as well. If you set to zero, that means that slide will be removed from your video. So that is how you can add or delete a slide and change the duration. You can undo or redo by using these buttons and this button will give a live preview of all your slides and here you can change the resolution of the video and here you can set the transition effect between two slides for example if i select cross zoom then cross zoom transition will be applied between these two slides that is slide number two and three so let us go through all the options one by one first one is story so basically we have entered three lines so three stories will come so when you have a url there will be like many stories tens and twenties so like for example if you want to repeat a story or add a new story with similar content then all you need to do is to click on plus button a new slide will be created with that content so now to change the image of this slide you can do in several ways so to do it along with the story addition all you need to do is to click on images here you can select what image you want in the slides that are created using story and then uh, once you selected it just add a new story here by clicking on plus button and a new story that is a new slide will be created with that particular selected image so this is basically the easiest way if you want to add an like same story with similar content but new image so that is all about the story now let's go to elements here you can add a lot of elements in your video 
like you can add social media icons gifs subscribe buttons or lower thirds all you have to do is to click on uh, an element drag and drop it here and here you can freely drag and move the elements anywhere you want you can also resize them so if you want to add in another slide just click on that slide and again click drag drop so that element has come here so this is how you can use the elements all the tabs have a lot of different gifs so just click drag and drop as per your needs that is all about elements now the branding here you can add intro of like an intro for this video outro or watermark so for intro you can use an image or video so while rendering our video this intro will be merged at the start and if you have given any outro then it will be merged at the end of the video basically all you have to do is to click drag and drop either an image or an mp4 file and this watermark basically you can add a transparent png image and that will be watermarked in the entire video you can select the location here and set the width of that particular image so that is all about branding the video so now let's see about this typography so this typography this setting applies to all the slide for example i can select a different uh, different font you see this has changed here and it will be changed in all the video once you click on apply now you can uh, change the size of the fonts as well now you see uh, the in the text font style and size both has changed here so once you click on apply it will be applied in all the slides and once you click and load the slide in canvas it will automatically reload so that is how you can uh, change the style of text and size in all the slides now let's move to media for example now if you want to add a image in the video and let's say you don't have an image all you can do is to come now let's see about media so if you want to add an image in your video just come here and uh, search for the video or image that you want for example i'll just enter a system click on search it's gonna take a couple of seconds so i'll just click here drag and drop it and i can resize as i wish and if you want to use this as a background just click on this and click on set as background you see this slides background is now changed so that is how you can uh, change the background as well as add new images in your slides the same thing goes for video as well so this is all about media now let's see about the music this feature allows you to add a background music to your video you can either drag and drop your own mp3 file or else you can select some inbuilt music from here and you can set the volume and uh, that's it nothing else needs to be done here once you set this it will automatically take now uh, let's go to the last option which is voiceover here you need to select a tts engine and then select a voice and then click on apply so what will happen is that all the text in all the slides will be converted into a voice and it will be merged in the video so that is what happens here you can either use our tts engine or else you can record your own voice or you can upload your own audio file and you can apply to all the slides at once so this is all about our video editor so once you are done just click on finish and system will render the video and give it to you so now let, let's move to the next section which is automation here in the automation you can create multiple videos at once let me show you how so to create an automation just click on create automation here you need to enter a blog url or a feed url so let me uh, enter the name campaign one I have entered the campaign name and in the RSS feed I will be entering one RSS feed line here 
you can also enter a blog url and the system will automatically scrape all the articles and content from this url so uh, i have just entered a feed url given name and clicked on next now it's going to take a couple of seconds as system has to set up everything now here first is that you need to give a keyword here based on the keyword it will autom automatically select the images uh, that will be used in creation of video so i'll just enter as love you can also use video or you can also mix them so i'll just enter a keyword i'll just click on search and i'll click on next now that particular rss has only two posts so what i'll do is i'll just uh, select both of them i'll click on next so basically in this screen you can enter the stories that is the slides that you want to be created i just click on edit story here are the slides that are available i can also add a new slide here i can preview so in the next step once you have uh, added edited and updated all the slides you can uh, check the preview and once you are done just click on finish now the system will automatically create two videos for you with the images selected during the wizard so this way you can create hundreds of video in very short time span so that is all about automation in my music you can add multiple musics here music tracks here which you can use for creating campaigns and this is thumbnail creator basically for youtube videos you can create beautiful thumbnails using our thumbnail editor here uh, for demo i'll be using inbuilt image here so once you add an image it will come like this here you can add text uh, move it change it resize it and do a lot of things all the options are available here as you see i've just changed the font style now i'm going to change the color you can also use a gradient color like this So uh, this is how you can do all the edits in the image editor with the text like this you have uh, many options like you can add shapes colors and you can also uh, change color of the shapes and all so once you're done just click on apply you can also add stickers frames corners and many other things in this in this image so this is basically a full fledged image editor which you can use to de design and create your own high converting thumbnails so that is all about thumbnail creator and this is agency part this is where you can add your employees to the system basically they will be using the same account to add an employee just click on add new client just give their name username email and password and they can use this username and password to log in into the account and uh, the final section is the elements here you if you have your own elements like gif or some images or elements you can just add it here and you can use these elements inside the video editor so that is all about with tsunami if you have any question please feel free to mail us thank you